Hi, I'm Don Britton. I'm a landscape painter. I paint in oils, mostly landscapes and seascapes in the western United States, as well as a little bit in the East Coast and in Europe as well. I've been painting now for almost 20 years, and I started off with a, just as a hobby to see if I'd like it at all. And I very quickly got over that hump in the road where you learn anything new and began to do it well enough so that I actually enjoyed doing it. At that point, I was hooked. So in the next few minutes, I want to take you on a tour, show you some of the work that I've done, some of the places I painted from that were inspirations for that work. Some of it's plein air, a lot of it is studio painting based on previous plein air paintings. I'll show you a little bit not only about what the work looks like, but also why I did it, how it evolved, and in some cases, how it evolved specifically for a particular client who had particular interests. So let's get with it. Anza Borrego Desert State Park. The Anza Borrego Desert is an easy day trip for a lot of people in Southern California and a colorful place to visit in spring. I've done a number of paintings of the area, both plein air and in my studio. Last spring, a collector who had followed my work contacted me. He'd seen my work in person and liked some examples he saw on my website, but wanted something a little different and a little larger. We discussed what he had in mind and using a combination of images of some of my other paintings and Photoshop, I was able to suggest a composition. I was also able to show him how those examples might look by superimposing them onto a digital image of the wall in his home. When we decided on a scene, I went back to the easel and began the painting. I first toned the linen canvas with a pale burnt orange hue and then proceeded to introduce the various elements into the painting. Desert Trail in Bloom at 24 by 48 inches was the result. It was a good collaboration and we were both very pleased with the process and with the final painting. Montera Beach. I've done a number of paintings of the California coast. This is Montera Beach State Park up on the San Francisco Peninsula. I was doing a small plein air painting there one morning and noticed this view of the surf crashing against a rock outcropping. I took photos and when I turned to my studio did this 36 by 36 inch painting. I usually find I have to move a mountain or change the shape of a wave or make some other changes to a scene to make it a little better painting. In this case, I felt the actual scene was so strong that I did little to change it. Bridgeport. A few years ago, I was asked by the editors of the magazine, International Artist, if I'd be interested in doing a feature article about my painting. I was. The setting I chose as a demonstration of the process was Bridgeport Lake along the eastern Sierras in central California. Looking across the lake, you can just see the Sawtooth Ridge off to the west. In a late summer, the lake can be partially covered with pink and green and yellow and all sorts of colors of various vegetation. The birds seem to just love it, and the fishermen not quite so much. Among the features I wanted to include were the sage in the foreground, the colors in the lake, and the snow on the mountains, mostly obscured by clouds. This is the process, as it was documented for the article, from the initial charcoal sketch to the completion of the final painting. And this is the final painting, now hanging on our wall. This scene has a personal connection for me. At the age of 97, my mother came to stay with us. Over the next three years, her sight and hearing continued to decline but I frequently took her for drives, and the thing she invariably enjoyed most was to stop and pick some sage. Its strong scent was a joy for her that overcame any other sensory deficit and brought back memories of her mountain home in Colorado. This painting, Beyond the Lake, was done to enhance some of the elements I liked in the smaller version, and to do it in a larger format, 48 by 36 inches. You can see a little more emphasis on the background mountains, another example of the same scene providing more than one interpretation. Of the paintings we've just been through, some are still available, some are not, but I want to show you now a series of paintings, all of which are available as of mid-September 2020. When the clouds began to clear is an example using basic coastal scene and then modified it to convey a specific idea. I hoped it would represent the beauty of the dark and threatening sea and also the promise of 
brighter times ahead. Pacific Spa is a painting that many people consider abstract. In fact, this 36 by 36 inch painting is a realistic rendition of the view looking down onto a small area of water, foam, rocks, and bits of kelp surging against the rocks of La Jolla Cove. I love the color and the movement on this one. The view from Mather Point. Stephen Mather was instrumental in establishing the National Park Service, and in 1917, he became its first director. You do that sort of thing, and you're going to get a lot of plaques and monuments in your honor, and this is a big one. Mather Point is at the south rim of the Grand Canyon, close to the Visitor's Center. For probably thousands of artists, this sort of view is why we keep coming back. This painting, 36 by 48, has an interesting history. It was selected by the curators of the U.S. State Department's Arch for the Embassy program for installation in the U.S. Embassy in Sri Lanka during the tenure of Ambassador Sison. It also selected as the cover work for the catalog of that installation. Lupin over Lake Tahoe. Lupin over Lake Tahoe is a scene close to my heart. It's about two miles from where we lived at Lake Tahoe and a place I painted several times. For those of you who know the area, that's Sand Harbor down on the left-hand side. Super Bloom 2. Super Bloom 2 depicts the view that has made a little town of Lake Elsinore nationally famous. A wet winter can produce a profusion of poppies and other flowers that you just have to see to believe. It's really magnificent. This was from a couple of years ago. On the Rocks. On the Rocks is a triptych, each panel being 24 inches square for a total size of 24 by 72 inches. I was really impressed with the sight and the sound of the surf coming against this long series of rocks. Well, that's the tour, or as much of it as I could squeeze into a few minutes. If you have questions about a specific painting you've seen here or on my website, please call or email. I'd love to discuss it with you. Likewise, if you have some ideas about a painting of your favorite place, I'd love to talk to you about that too and what it means to you. Thank you again.